Okay, <clears throat> we're back. Hopefully, <clears throat> get the wing, at least the wing laid up tonight. Um, so here's the Mylars. Uh, ready. They've been painted white and orange stripes, white tips on the top. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the layup. Um, the, uh, the layup is three layers of um, one and a half ounce glass or 1.6 ounce glass. Three layers of that. Uh, the wing itself gets a leading edge. The leading edge gets covered in um, carbon fiber. And I'll talk a little bit about how I did that. Uh, this is this will go on the leading edge. Uh, you know, there's a longer piece here, but what it is is uh, the carbon is cut on a bias. So I have a roll of plain weave six ounce carbon. Um, you roll it out on a 45. You take this tape. Um, it's um, uh, Scotch 924, and what it is is it's it's just the adhesive for tape. There's no really there's no a, a tape on either side. It's just the adhesive, so it rolls off with a backing. So you you roll that on a 45, and then you have backing on it, and then you can just take scissors and just cut the carbon the cloth out, and then you can see the tape on this side. I left it a little bit long, but you know, usually I'll cut it just even, but uh, a little extra carbon probably is not going to hurt this wing. Then <clears throat> when you go to use it, all you do is peel the tape off, and then it becomes like a carbon tape, and you can just tape it right to the leading edge. Um, what a lot of people do, and what I have did until just in the last month or so when I found this stuff, um, is take this you know, same kind of carbon or I was using unicarbon actually like this that's uh, all the carbon uh, fibers are all in one direction you take that spray it with uh, super 77 same thing I glued the cores together with glue it, spray it with the super 77 and then just lay that down on the leading edge and it, it sticks to the leading edge that works okay too but I kinda like having this at a 45 where the, the unicarbon uh, you know, it's not doing a whole lot to hold the skins together, really, the top and bottom skin, where this would. And it adds a lot of rigidity, too, uh, on that leading edge. Um, the layup, you know, from the leading edge is then, then uh, these carbon strips here act as spar caps. This wing doesn't have a traditional spar that you would see in a hollow molded wing or even in some foam wings where uh, you know, you'll cut a, and put a spar actually right in the in the wing with a spar cap and the the shear web. This spar, this wing system, uses the whole wing, the all of the foam, so essentially as a, a spar web and or a shear web, and the whole wing skin and and this extra little bit of carbon acts as the spar on top and bottom. I think they call it a stressed skin wing. Um, so there's no traditional scar, uh, spar or shear web anyways tying the top half and bottom half together it just relies on the foam works great works fine for uh, the kind of pylon racing that we do um, it would work great for slope planes too um, wouldn't be so hot for really fast pylon planes or really fast and heavy planes uh, like a DS plane or well, fast pylon plane, probably need a proper spar. Uh, the last little bit of, well, there's some carbon here that goes in the middle as doublers to help. Um, you know, when you, bolt, when you bolt the the wing down to the fuse, uh, it helps to keep the center nice and strong. Um, the other thing, I'll, I have, I'll, I'll cut this out probably off camera, but um, this is the same tape that it's on a 45 degree bias with Kevlar and that's what I use for my live hinges and they sit right over the the hinge line for the ailerons um, I just started using this tape uh, I used to just lay them up right on this on the layup 
uh, just cut out a piece of mylar on the 45 bias, put it down on that line, put it down on this line, and, and go from there. The last few wings I've made, I've used this tape and taped it directly to the core, right on the foam core. Works great. Um, works really good. That's probably what I'll do here too. Um, let me show you a wing. Here's <clears throat> a wing I just pulled out for somebody who didn't who wants to paint it themselves. So you can actually see uh, everything that's in, in the wing. Now, the person that I did this wing for wanted the the ailerons hinged on the bottom. Um, you know, there's a little bit less drag that way. Uh, so you got up movement like this. He's got complete down movement. He could you know, he could act like flaps if you if you really wanted them to. Um, you got the carbon doubler in the middle. You got this carbon piece that runs the full length of the wing, and then the carbon that's on the leading edge of the wing. It kind of acts like a D box, but the wing is pretty stiff. I mean, there's a little bit of flex to it, but it's light, um, but stiff, stiff enough for our racing. Um, so that's kind of what the wing looks like. The hinge line, you can see the strip of Kevlar. It's important that it's that it's on a bias, so the fibers are running this direction and this direction. That puts all of the fibers at least, you know, in play in that hinge line. If it was on 90s and zeros. The, the fibers running this direction add nothing to the strength of this hinge line. It would you'd be rely, relying totally on the ones that run this way. Um, and that hinge is it'll be strong forever. And it's you can see it's pretty loose. Um, anyway, that's kind of what the wing looks like. Before, if it wasn't painted, you can see in this wing you can see the channel for the servos. You could you can install the servo all the way out to here or you know, anywhere in this area right here punch a hole in the wing right here and then you have a channel to run your wire out to the servo. Um, anyway, that's it. Put this back. So let's put uh, let's put I guess I'll film putting the this cloth on the leading edge. Take your core. And this really acts like a like tape. I mean you can pull it apart. Normally with bias uh, fabric, carbon or glass or anything, if you pull on it, you know, it'll shear and but this is it's like a tape. Works fantastic. Um, I should have probably started with the longer piece. So I didn't. I'm gonna start with this one. I don't. This is kind of weird. I don't usually start on the end. I usually start in the middle and work my way out on each side. But since I've got the short piece, I'm gonna start right here. And I leave it overhang just a little bit on the back. I guess you can see that. And then you just kind of tack it down in the middle. Maybe I'm getting too high here, but okay. And then you can just push it down, kind of get a feel for how that works. You want it to lay down flat and not have any wrinkles on the leading edge, and you know that's really nice and flat. And because this fabric's bias cut, it'll lay down on these radiuses. You know, you're making that turn, but it'll lay down flat all the way around. Where if it wasn't biased, it may not lay down flat. So I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but uh, you know that's it, you can see it laid down flat. You can see that uh, you got carbon on the leading edge. And we'll go ahead and do this one.